safety and security of all of Ukraine's nuclear facilities is of central and vital concern to the IAEA. We have been actively engaged with Ukraine since the start of this tragic conflict to ensure that these facilities are protected. We have been particularly working on the safety and security of the Saporizhia nuclear power plant and where we have had IAEA experts on site since the beginning of September providing assistance and support. And we are making progress in establishing a nuclear safety and security protection zone around the Saporizhia site. But while the world has been focused on the dangerous situation at Saporizhia, Europe's largest nuclear power plant, we must not forget the country's other nuclear facilities. Yesterday, for the first time ever, all of Ukraine's four operational nuclear power plants, Saporizhia, Rivne, South Ukraine, and Kamenitsky, lost external power and were disconnected from the grid. They were all forced to rely on emergency diesel generators for the electricity they need to ensure their continued safety and security. This unprecedented situation would have been unimaginable just months ago. It is deeply important. At the start of a war, I outlined the seven indispensable pillars for safety and security, which include that physical integrity must be maintained and there must be secure off-site power. I appeal today that these pillars must be respected to ensure that all Ukraine's nuclear power plants are not affected in this way again. Recently, Ukraine requested the IAEA to provide, as well as for Saporizhia, on-site assistance and support to Rivne, Minitsky and South Ukraine, and to Chernobyl. This assistance has begun. We must do everything to prevent a nuclear accident at any of these nuclear facilities, which would only add to the terrible suffering we are already witnessing in Ukraine. Time to act. It's now.